Okay, we're ready to start? Okay. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Jamie Pitts. And um, what I'm doing right here, what we're talking about here, is a community code of conduct. And um, this is the kind of thing that um, almost every conference has. ECC has one of these. And um, what we're working on is to create a community code of conduct which can be adopted by teams in the community. And this isn't about institutions imposing or anything like that. This is to respect the decentralized approach. Um, and it came out of the integrity ring at the Theory of Magicians. And it's essentially policy. Um, the community has not enacted policy. Um, we don't really have central powers or anything like that. So it's up to individuals and, and teams to adopt policies. For example, the group that organized this conference, they decided to adopt a code of conduct. Um, and so I've been working with Maria Pola and others um, to develop this policy. And um, one of the ideas behind it is um, to make it so that we can get feedback. And so we're going to follow uh, something similar to the EIPs. And that means we have, um, I just added this header to the document. And these are the links. The second link there is probably a little bit easier to get to. That's like a Twitter, Twitter generated link. Um, so you might try that if you want to look at the document. Um, and so in the header, you know, we have standard information and then you have status. And so as this proposal moves through the process, that status will change, just like an EIP, just like a core EIP. And, um, you know, if you want to get involved with it, then you might become an author on the document. You might help advance it forward. And eventually, this thing is going to reach final. And then at that point, teams in the community might choose to adopt it. Um, and so, uh, here's the general statement of intent on this document. A lot of um, code of conduct documents have this. Um, and this is, um, it's, it's meant to talk about adoption, how to adopt. And it, it, the final part of it, I think, is a really interesting statement. I think it's an important statement. And I'll just read it to you guys right now. Power protects people's crimes. Decentralization works towards eliminating power. Therefore, we should work to eliminate the adverse side effects of power. And that's what this code of conduct is about. Um, and this, this is a listing of, of the code of conduct. And you know it obviously focuses on racism and sexism and, and acts of violence and harassment. Um, one, one key thing about this is that um, teams which adopt this, or events which adopt this, um, are accepting responsibilities. And just as any policy, right? So, for example, if somebody, if you're at an event or you're, say, managing a subreddit and somebody reports abuse, somebody reports a violation of, of, these, of these terrible things that happen, um, you're to protect the person who's reporting it. And that's an important principle. And right now, like, for example, I work at the Ethereum Foundation, there's no human resources person there. So if something happens to me, who do I tell, right? And so if a team, there's, there's so many teams at the foundation, if a team adopts this policy, I can report some, something that happened to me to somebody and know they've adopted this policy, they're going to follow these procedures listed out in the policy, which is protection of my privacy on, on reporting. Um, and then there's something talking about taking action, right? So if, if you adopt this policy as a person or as a, as a team, you're basically saying you're going to take action when somebody reports, right? You're not going to disclose who they are, but you're going to take action on it. That might mean sanctions. And this is the beginning. This is, this is policy. And we don't really have any way to organize policy in the community. And so Maria, Paula, and I thought that the best way is to have teams adopt, right? That's decentralized. That's, that's a way we can all accept. Um, and so it's, it's entirely voluntary, whether teams adopt or not. Um, and the final part of it is a glossary. There's more to this glossary. And I could see I've already 
didn't do a good job copy pasting in there. Um, but this, this is uh, just defined, this is actually taken from the W3C's um, policy. And, um, and this is so that people know what sexual harassment is, what unwelcome behavior is, right? And so, um, do we got anything else? I don't got anything else. So, yeah, get involved with this, right? Like if you, if you feel like you wanna get involved with policy making in the community, get involved with this. This is a really excellent way to do, do something great for people and um, to eliminate a problem that is pervasive. Um, you know, and for example, in a related community, in the tour development community, there was a, a serious, a very serious situation, and there was coordination amongst the teams and institutions in the community to address that situation, right? And so, you know, there's conferences, there's all these things happening in online forums. These are things that we can do something about instead of just being victimized by it. And so by, by adopting this policy, by getting involved with this policy, you can contribute to the effort. So I guess I'll back up so you can see the, the links. Um, does anybody have any questions about this, any comments about this idea? Um, if not, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I don't know who's after me, but I might even just leave the mic right here if someone wants to talk about it. Um, so that's all I have to say, so think about it.